If you're having issues getting Windows to boot, running a startup repair could possibly fix these issues. Let's figure out how you guys can do that in today's tutorial. There's actually two ways to get to the startup repair within Windows, because startup repair is built into Windows. But here's the thing, if you're having problems having Windows boot, then you're probably not gonna be able to get to the, to the menus like that are for startup repair. So today we're gonna do this using a bootable flash drive. I made this one Windows 10 64 bit. You can also just get like a Windows uh, installation disk, basically the same thing. Um, but uh, this is free other than the flash drive that you have to buy obviously, at least a four gigabyte flash drive. Um, and a disk is probably gonna be like a hundred bucks on Amazon or something like that. So I have a, I have a uh, tutorial on how to make a bootable flash drive on my channel. It's a little bit tricky, but if you check out my tutorial, it'll uh, you know help you a little bit. Um, so yeah, we need a flash drive. Basically, all we want to do is boot into this flash drive. So we'll plug it into my computer and then we'll turn on my computer. And while your computer is booting up, you'll want to hit the boot options menu. So uh, for my computer, it's F12. That's the boot options for gigabyte motherboards. If you have like a Dell or something like that, it could be something different. Could be F9, could be F11. Sometimes you just have to keep tinkering with it a little bit. So uh, if so you like like these are all like the boot options of your computer you need to basically find your bootable flash drive or your DVD or whatever you're using for installation um, so uh, for me right here it's the Kingston data traveler uh, if you're not really sure what the bootable flash drive is you can boot into this menu without the flash drive in and then you can take note of what's on there if uh, and, and then uh, go ahead and boot with the bootable flash drive in there and there's probably gonna be something new and most likely that's the bootable flash drive so we'll go ahead and boot into our bootable flash drive once you've figured out which one is the right one. And it'll take us into the Windows uh, installation, which will have some options for startup repair. So now we're into the bootable, min or like the, the, the Windows installation menu. <laughs> so we'll, uh, of course, pick your language and everything. It's already set for me. We'll go ahead and uh, don't pick install now. Basically, in install now is going to install a new version of Windows. If this process doesn't work, you can go ahead and reinstall Windows and just do install now. But uh, startup repair is a first, it's a good place to start off and it's really not going to hurt anything that's on your computer. So, you know, you might as well do it. So I'll go to repair your computer and then it'll take us to this menu, which is similar to the menu to get into safe mode. It's actually the same menu, basically. We'll pick troubleshoot and then we'll click on startup repair and it'll diagnose our PC. Um, mine is running fine, so it's not going to find anything, hopefully. Uh, hopefully it doesn't find anything, but uh, if your if your uh, you know version of Windows does have some issues, then hopefully it finds some issues. Um, it works sometimes. Sometimes your Windows or hard drive is just messed up so much that it's not going to fix anything. And in that case, you might need to replace your hard drive, might need to uh, and reinstall Windows, something like that. Uh, but uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, I guess it needs to restart the computer and everything. Oh yeah, okay. So it couldn't repair my computer because um, my computer's not broken. So, but uh, it could help you out. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you guys out, and I'll see you crazy guys later. Peace out.